there, guys. <laughs> it's Monday, and guess what? I've got tap shoes on. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I feel like this morning, I kind of ran to this metaphor for life, where you see things kind of zip past you and you want to keep up, but you honestly just can't, whether it's depression or anxiety or insecurity or something's holding you back. Maybe it's just circumstances that you just can't seem to get around. But here we were doing this tap routine that seemed pretty simple to learn when I was going at my own pace. But then something happens and we speed up and my legs suddenly say, Hey, I don't want to function for you anymore. Is that cool with you? Ah, uh, no, <laughs> Mr. Legs. Because there's two of them. Uh, that is not cool. I would actually like to uh, remain in control of you while you're moving that fast. That's kind of the point of tap. If uh, I can do that, that'd be great. Wait, but you know what? Over time, that does happen. You do get used to it. I mean, I can do things that I didn't think I'd be able to do just because I spent the time to get my muscles trained. And the whole point is that I was learning in tap is to keep your feet underneath your butt. I don't think that we do that in life. I don't think that we keep our feet underneath their butt. We're trying to hold on to things in the past and in the future, and we're just doing the splits non-stop. Honestly, we can't hold on, you can't hold on to the steps of the past and the mistakes that you've made. You can't be thinking three or four steps ahead in the future because you're never gonna be focused on what's underneath your butt, what you're doing right now. At best in tap, what you do is you think one move ahead, you think what you're doing now, leading up to the next move, and just how it combos and transitions into that, so you're ready. Always be ready for something to happen, but don't think that you can plan so intensely what it's going to be. Guess what? You might make a mistake. Something could happen that throws off your feet, but you need to be able to recover and bring it back. Not everybody works at the same pace. I, I understand that. Look, I, sometimes there are things that I do that don't always go at the right pace. You know, like I, I sometimes have to take the time to make sure that I can get where I need to go at the pace that I need to go. Other times, I have to dive head first into something that is insanely quick, but sometimes people conquer fears that way. I know that I'm confident that I could dive into a very meaty roll with lots of lines and do it in about two weeks. I've done that before, but I've gotten myself to that point. I know my limitations and I know how far I can push myself. And sometimes, you don't. You don't know what you can do and you don't know how far you can go. That's what parents are for. That's what teachers are for and friends and directors. That's what those people are for who can see those things in you and see your potential and know that there's something inside of you that they have to pull out that you either don't see, don't want to see, or do see and are so afraid to let it out because you're afraid of where it might go. It's really hard to have balance when you're throwing yourself backwards and forwards at the same time. Balance is keeping your feet underneath your butt. The faster you go and tap, the smaller your movements become. So if you ever think about it, and then you try and translate that to real life, maybe the faster you do something in real life, the smaller your steps become. If you need to get something done in two weeks and you've got to plow through it, you have no choice. Make your steps small. Think about tiny goals, accomplish those, work through them like a list. You're going to feel so damn accomplished because you're getting all these things done in your checklist. And when you pan back, you go, holy crap, I did a whole month's worth of work in two weeks because you set small goals that you could accomplish on a daily basis and you kept your feet beneath your butt. I don't know, guys, that just kind of hit me today. As I'm sitting there watching these amazing tap kids go through this routine that I could do slow, I could do it slow, but it reached a certain point where I couldn't continue and I saw myself faking it just to keep the sound. I looked a hell of a lot like this. And it's an exaggeration, I know, but... Just make the sounds. But honestly, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. If you practice it right the first time, you're gonna get it the next time. 
So don't don't worry so much about about you seeing the people that are just zooming through life and going fast, okay? And uh, and and the people who are going fast, don't freak out about the people who are going slow. It's so much easier if it was just a helping heap of understanding from both parties. That you know, hey, it's okay. Maybe I need to tone it down a little bit. Pull it back. Oh, hey, it's okay. Maybe I need to take it a little bit further and push myself. I understand. Boom. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, meet in the middle. Hmm. Balance. Balance is all about keeping your feet underneath your butt. Tap. Tap for life. Oh, ah, that 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 either all sounded really cool or it sounded like stupid babbling crap. But but it, you know, you guys decide. I am just sitting here talking, and I'm gonna edit this later. So, uh, that's all I got. Uh, life is a play, and the play is the thing. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.